I didn't know you could fly a plane. Fly, yes. Land? No. Kevin Tripping here, the Indiana Jones nerd, yet again. James Mangold has said on Twitter, Common marketing practice for a summer studio release often includes dropping a first teaser of some sort during the previous winter. So while this is no confirmation of anything, it suggests that we could be seeing a teaser trailer or at least a little glimpse sometime late this year. Indy 5 is set to come out on June 30th of next year. Let's take a look at some of this year's corresponding Disney releases to see when we might expect a teaser. Doctor Strange 2 is coming out May 6th and its teaser trailer of course premiered with Spider-Man No Way Home on December 21st of last year, four and a half months before the film's release. And Thor Love and Thunder, which comes out in early July, has only just had its trailer three months before its release. But since Marvel is constantly releasing new content, such as Moon Knight, which premiered in late March, it's possible that they aren't releasing early looks to keep from stealing other releases. Thunder. Meanwhile, Pixar's Lightyear, which comes out in mid-June, had its teaser trailer released all the way back in October. I think it's possible that we will get an Indy 5 teaser late this year. There are three action-adventure films from Disney releasing at that time. Marvel's Black Panther sequel is coming out November 11th, and coming the week of Thanksgiving, the animated fantasy adventure film Strange World, which has a very Indiana Jones-esque logo. And Avatar 2 is coming out on June 16th. I would be pretty surprised if we don't see an Indy 5 teaser with Avatar 2. Maybe Strange World. Fans were hoping we might get some info on Indy 5 during this year's CinemaCon in Las Vegas, but all we got was the Indiana Jones logo on their graphic of upcoming films. Anaheim will be hosting both the Star Wars Celebration in late May and D23 in September. And it was reported by Instagram's Indiana Jones Archive that Lucasfilm is planning to discuss their non-Star Wars projects on one of the first few days of that Star Wars celebration. Could we possibly be seeing a title drop for Indy 5? Rob McGregor's Staff of Kings audiobook has had its sixth episode released on the Mystical Underground podcast. While there were originally supposed to be just six or seven episodes, we have learned that it's in fact going to be closer to 12. It was recently announced that Harrison Ford will be awarded the Howard Hughes Memorial Award by the Aero Club of Southern California. The award recognizes exceptional leaders who advance the fields of aviation or aerospace technology. The ceremony will be held on June 10th at the Space Shuttle Endeavor Pavilion in Los Angeles. A limited number of tickets are on sale at aeroclubsocal.org slash events. Regular tickets are going for $325, while student tickets are selling for $200. And the actor's next project has already been announced. He will play a psychologist in Apple TV's Shrinking. If you haven't seen already, Sean Connery's James Bond is being edited into Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull by yours truly. While the feature film is still several months away from release, you can see footage being released every week here on Indiana Jones Nerd. Eugene Shin created a breathtaking poster for the film, which is called Indiana Jones and James Bond 007. The artwork can be purchased from our Etsy store below. Also, you can have your name in the opening credits as associate producer with as little as a $5 donation to our fundraiser on GoFundMe. And that is going to wrap it up for this installment of Indiana Jones News Roundup. Please do consider supporting our GoFundMe page. It really would be a big help. And without further ado, it's time for me to sign off and wish you all fortune and glory. Bye-bye now.